Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. So I am super excited to bring this to you. Um, it's not often I say this, but uh, today I am gonna show you the future. Um, so in beta today, we are launching Google My Business messaging integration. So what is it? Why does it matter? How does it work? Let's let's jump into it. So first of all, let's let's zoom all the way back out of software and let's just talk about messaging. So we all know in our personal lives, we now send messages via SMS, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, more than we ever have before. Um, and this trend will only continue to accelerate for a lot of good reasons. Um, the, the least of which is the fact that it's very convenient to send off a message and then check back later um, to look at the response. It's an asynchronous mode of, uh, um, for the fancy programmer term of communication. It allows us basically to communicate with one another without having to interrupt our day, stop what we're doing, get on a phone call, have a Zoom call. So it's a very easy way to, to move through particularly sort of small items. So how is that gonna impact business as we go forward? Well, as we can see here, there's some really good stats. 33% of American adults prefer to text um, than all other forms of communication. 78% of consumers, and I think this is the big one, um, wish they could text a business. And so we're already moving into this, right? So if you've been using High Level for any time, you know we have two-way text messaging, you know we have web chat, but today we have Google My Business messaging integration. Now, what is Google My Business messaging? So if you go in and you search Google My Business messaging, you are not gonna get a lot of exciting stuff because Google's, um, Google's uh, pages on this that come up tend to look like this, which isn't very ex exciting and cool. But think about it like this. The next time you are on your mobile phone and you search plumber near me, for example, let's imagine that instead of this, you saw, instead of call, 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 <laughs> call, 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 instead of that, those call buttons, let's say you saw a message button. And when you touch that message button, what happened was a little window slid up and now you could actually send a quick message to that business versus having to stop in your day and actually uh, call that person. So what would that look like exactly? So here I have the Google My Business panel up for uh, a company called Lex Helper, and you can see right here that they have the message button enabled. And so what happens is when I touch that message button, and I'll show you, um, and you can do this right now on your, uh, on your mobile phone, what'll happen is a little window will pop up just like this. And you can see here, and this is a screenshot of my phone, um, that what, when you, right here you get this little welcome message, welcome to Lex Helper, how can I help you? Um, I just wrote back, hey, or I wrote in, hey, and then they wrote back, hey, back. <laughs> Um, and so what just happened in that transaction? So I, as a consumer, went, searched on Google, found a business, and instead of having to call them, I was able to just send them a quick message, um, and now they were able to respond. But how did that, where did that message go, and how did that work? Well, that's what's exciting about today. So if you go back in over here and we go into conversations, what we're gonna see is, here was that conversation right here. So we now have the ability to bring Google My Business messages into the platform automatically. And of course you can respond to them as well. Um, so that's awesome. We also have triggers built for this in the customer reply trigger. Um, and let's take a look at the process of getting this all hooked up. It's super easy. You literally just go into settings, you go into integrations and you just uh, go ahead and connect the Google My Business account and you choose the page and that's it. You're done, it's live. Now, it, down here it says Google My Business Messages are enabled. There's a change settings button, whoop, and then you can start to see how to customize some of this. So you can change like the display name and the logo and some of that kind of stuff. Um, and you can disable it um, if you have to, although I highly recommend that you don't. Um, it is my core belief that five years from now, there will not be a business standing, um, particularly in the local space, that isn't using this technology. Because fundamentally, consumers want to be able to reach out and contact businesses. They wanna be able to e easily interact with businesses. And this is the easiest way for them to do that, particularly when it's a business they don't know. You know, Again, back to this example, I'm looking at a, a plumber here. I'm not sure who to contact. I might, I might not even be happy with these results. I might wanna see the full Google Map pack. But eventually, as I'm looking through here, it looks like Peterson Plumbing could be a good deal. Maybe Kevin Cohen here, they both got pretty high reviews. Um, but at this point, I'm not sure who to, who to call, who to trust, um, who to reach out to. 
I'm just gonna hit the message button if I can. If one of these has message and the other doesn't, I'm going with the message. And on top of this, this is a big thing for Google. So we're on the Google My Business Messaging beta with, uh, with Google. We get to attend um, sort of their um, inside developer calls where they talk about new releases and new features, but also strategy. And a big part of what Google wants to do with this is they want to keep you on Google. So their goal is next time you search plumber near me, instead of coming down and actually clicking on a website and leaving, um, you can see here they have these Google guaranteed um, listings already, which is a new ad format that you should check into. But if I click here, I haven't left Google. This isn't a website. This is actually um, a profile that's been created by Google for Roto-Rooter that is based on their Google My Business profile. And in here, the call button is very present, but we're gonna move more and more to the message button. And in fact, Google's told us they're gonna go beyond just the messages. They're also gonna be able to do things like um, do appointment booking inside messages and, and even do payments inside messages. And so we'll continue to bring those to you. But I think this is just such a huge, massive shift in the way that uh, businesses will operate um, here in the very near future. Um, so here's what we've got today. So today on beta, you can go in and you can uh, set this up for any business. Uh, we've run this for a couple of days with a couple of customers and every, so far everything's gone great. Um, it is in beta, so it's not guaranteed to be perfect. So don't use it on your, you know, your most important client, but it's definitely available. You have to go to beta.gohighlevel.com uh, uh, and log in there to see it, to activate it, to respond to the messages, etc. So it's not going to be on live. The goal right now, of course, is like all of our betas, we want to get people in who are interested, have you try it out, um, give us feedback, let us know um, what's not working. I'll drop uh, some instructions on how to report bugs. Um, that you find or issues that you find below. Um, and I'll show you that. Um, and then uh, the other limitations here, let me just check my notes. Ah, perfect. Okay, so um, once you enable it, it can take um, a couple of hours to actually show up. Um, and then you can, the person chatting in can actually send an image. So um, hold on, let's just do like a live demo here. Um, so I'll pull out my phone, I'm gonna look down at my phone, and I'm gonna go into that same conversation. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, just pick a photo here and hit done and hit send. And we should see that photo pop in here um, in a second. Oh, it says just sent. So, um, and then you can receive photos. Oh, there we go, look at that. Um, and so you can receive photos, but you can't actually um, send photos yet. This is an update that Google just made. So we'll be implementing that. Um, here uh, shortly. So anyways, all that to say, um, I am so excited about this. I think this is a massive game changer for anybody who works in the local um, business space. Um, so please jump in. I know I, this is a long video, but I really wanted to make sure everybody understood the importance here. Um, and uh, thanks a lot. And I hope you're having a great rest of your day. Bye.